All right, so this problem is asking us to determine the molarity of a salt solution. So we want to review what does molarity mean. And we've learned previously that molarity is talking about a solution where we're tracking how many moles of solute are there in a given volume of solution. The first thing we want to do is take a look at the information we've been provided. We've been given a mass of salt for this problem. We've also been provided information about the total volume of solution. In order to determine molarity, we are going to need to do some conversions. We need to know not how many grams of sodium chloride we're dealing with, but how many moles of sodium chloride we have. We're also going to want to convert our volume, 500 milliliters, to a volume expressed in units of liters. So let's go ahead and do these two conversions. The first conversion that I'll take a look at is the conversion of mass of sodium chloride, 14.61 grams, to moles of sodium chloride. In order to do this conversion, we need to know the molar mass of sodium chloride. We'll have one mole of sodium chloride is equal to 58.44 grams sodium chloride. This allows us to calculate the number of moles of sodium chloride since grams will cancel out. The number of moles calculates to be 0 0.2500. Next, we're going to take the total volume of the solution, 500 milliliters, and convert this to liters. using the conversion factor that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Here we're able to calculate that we have a total volume of 0.5 liters. To calculate the molarity, we'll need to take the moles of solute, the sodium chloride, that was 0 0.2500 moles, We're going to divide that by the total volume of the solution, which is 0.5 liters. This allows us to calculate the molarity. We can see that that's going to work out to be 0.5. Uh, the unit that goes along with this is a capital M, so we will write the answer as 0.5 M NaCl. Writing our answer like this indicates that we have a concentration of 0.5 molar sodium chloride. 